Hey guys, today I'm gonna give you a little review on this set of Beavercraft tools. They're palm tools. They come in a cardboard box and then have this like foam insert. I like that insert just because this box I actually stick into a toolbox. So this sits inside of a drawer and that way it just stays nice and organized. These don't roll around in there. So that's one nice thing about this set that I like. The only thing I don't really love about them is the size. They are about six inches long. So it's a little bit too long for my preference because I actually like to carve reversed. It's something I learned from Blake Lunsford. Um, he, you know, carves like this, it gives you a little more control. So I actually end up choking up quite a bit so that I'm not, you know, carving really far away from the piece. I just like my hands to be a little closer. It gives me a little more control like that. So that's the only thing I don't love. If you have bigger hands, I have pretty small hands. If you have bigger hands and, or if you carve traditionally like this, where you keep it in your palm and carve like that, it's really not that big of a deal. I believe the Rockwell hardness is 57 to 59 on their tools. They come very sharp out of the box. These are used right now. I've you know, used them quite a bit and have not sharpened them recently. So I won't be showing you like a cutting demonstration just because it wouldn't be accurate to how sharp they can actually be. That being said, they do hold an edge really well. Um, if I were to use these right now, they you know, would do fine. It, I might catch a little bit again, you know, going against the grain or whatever, but you know, they're, they're good tools. Um, they're sharp when they come, they hold an edge. I really like the handles. They have like an oil finished handle instead of a lacquered finished handle, which as you know, in my previous videos, I don't love that lacquered finish just cause it gets slippery. So I do prefer this type of handle. I believe it's ash. Um, it does have a little flat spot here so that when you set them down, they don't roll around on you and roll off the table, which is pretty common. And I think almost all palm tools have that. Um, yeah, so they're nice. They have a bunch of different um, profiles in this set. This one is a number nine, 10 millimeter. They have a chisel, which I actually like this quite a bit because I don't have many you know, flat, you know, one, number one profile gouges. Um, so having that chisel is kind of nice. It's a four millimeter. This one is like a bent gouge. It's an eight. So an eight A is how they designate a bent gouge. Uh, it's 14 millimeter and that's good for like carving those like bowls or I think it's called a kuksa or kuksa or however you say it. Um, those little like ladle kind of looking bowls um or spoons you know these are great for spoon carving you can you know get that bowl cut you know where you need to have that that steeper angle so that can be nice to have this one is a number five i believe yeah number five 12 millimeter so, this one is a number eight eight millimeter and then they have a V tool which it's right here yeah so it's a t number 12 you know V parting tool and it's a two millimeter um, this one I don't use a lot if I use something this small I really would rather have something a little bit smaller so I use my 1.5 millimeter um, V tool from flex cut um, or I'll use something bigger. I hardly ever need something this size. So this is probably the only tool out of it. I don't love, I mean, it has its uses here and there, so I have used it, and but it's just not a common thing I grab. I think I probably use this number nine the most. Um, a lot of carvers use number nines. I got this as a Christmas gift last year, so um, I didn't pay for this, but I believe they're in the $80 range. I'll try to look that up and throw a price on the screen for you or give you a link or something. Um, 
but it's not bad for the amount of tools that you get and you know the different profiles i do like most of the profiles this is the only one i don't love but you know i don't know some people might like that size that two millimeter size but it's just a little bit of personal preference um yeah so good tools I'm trying to think if there's anything else i don't love about them it's really just the size i mean and that's just my preference for carving reversed so that might not apply to you so you know they i don't know i guess the only other thing is sometimes i don't recommend sets um because they can be expensive you know 80 or 90 dollars you know something like that and uh you know if you don't end up using all of them or if you only use you know two of them for the most part it's kind of like you wasted your money buying a bunch of other pieces that just sit in a drawer. So that's just, you know, if you don't know what you want, you might be better off just buying a tool here and there. Um, that number nines are really useful. Uh, number five sweeps are really useful. Chisels are always nice. Um, so, you know, it's just depends on what you want out of your tools and what you need. But I say, say as far as, sets go this isn't a bad one by any means i enjoy having it um, i do have to choke up but i actually use file in the intermediate tools a lot because um, i have two of those and i have to choke up on those as well um, so i'm kind of used to it holding the blade instead of the handle but if i were to have my preference of rather have something like a a drake or maybe a file i think files are like four and a quarter inches long um so quite a bit smaller drakes are fairly short the one i have at least i have a soft v tool that's you know probably that size i mean it's perfect for my hands so i guess that would be my only big thing i don't love about them but for the most part they're good tools and i think you should try them out or try to find you know maybe just i don't know if they sell these individually if you can just get like a number nine and See if you like the way they feel, because they all are very consistent. You know, they're all the same links. They feel the same. The handles feel the same. So very consistent tools, and, you know, they don't, you know, they're in there well. I mean, they make their tools well. If you haven't used Beavercraft tools, I think they're one of the better affordable options out there. Give these a shot if it's something that you think that you could use, or try to get hold of just one and see if, I think that would be the best option if you could do that. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching. And if you wanna see more stuff like this, like, comment, subscribe, and I will be putting out more videos. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.